Hello, welcome to this video. Here I will demonstrate how to build CI CD workflow with GitHub Actions with a very simple example based on Python machine learning application. So let's say we have a developer. It can be you, your friend, or somebody who develop machine learning model or application. In front of this user, we have a GitHub repository. Situation is simple. A developer push his changes on application code to this repository. Then we will use GitHub action to trigger our workflow. Let's draw this rectangular to define the scope of GitHub action. The workflow that will be triggered with GitHub action can do many steps. One of them is to test our application code. Then we can build Docker container which contains all dependencies and instructions for our application. As the output side, we have AWS Amazon Web Services, which provides us Elastic Container Registry, AWS ACR. This is a repository where we can store our Docker images and deploy our machine learning models more easily and in more scalable scenarios. Some quick reminders which you should know before moving to practical part. Continuous integration. The developers changes in commits or merge are validated by creating an application built on the go and performing tests against the build, testing for robustness. Continuous delivery extends from CI to ensure that new changes or releases are deployed and efficiently brought to users. Deploy changes in one click. Docker image a sequential collection of execution parameters to use within a collection of root file systems with a container during runtime. Docker images are like snapshots of containers. Docker container. Containers are constructed from Docker images. It is a runtime instance of a Docker image. It runs a program. So, to implement our tutorial task, we have the GitHub repo right here. The link to this repo is in the description of this video. Then, we have opened AWS account. It is new account without any settings inside. And the region is Central Europe based in Frankfurt. Then we have a node tool to make our nodes such as a user ID or password. And the terminal right here, which is directly connected to our repo. Here's the full structure of the project. Let's quickly check the Docker file of our application. Here we have five lines with instruction what to do with our application. Here's the base image for the application. Here we are copying the content to Docker container directory, installing dependencies, exposing port 80, and running our application API in this port. Come back to our project, open the application folder, just for letting you know, here are the application artifacts, machine learning model binary file and feature scaler. Requirement.txt is file containing all lists with dependencies needed to run our application. Here is a special Python script declaring application variables. And here is the main application file with the algorithm inside and the main logic. As you can see, it is based on fast API technology. That's enough to know for us about the application itself in this tutorial. We need to think something more related with MLOps. For this reason, let's open GitHub Action tab right here. Remember, we want to create a workflow between GitHub and AWS. So click on the setup workload yourself. The new YAML file with a standard template is in front of your eyes. We need to replace it with more specific one. So I'm replacing it with another one, which you can find in the video description. The name of this instruction is deploy to ECR, it is Elastic Container Registry. Next, very important, this instruction will be executed on push command on main branch in our repository. Next section, jobs. We have only one job, build because we want to build a Docker image on AWS and it's run on Ubuntu OS. This job has several steps. The first one, check out code, then configure AWS credentials. Next, login to 
Amazon ACR. And the last one, build, tag, and push image to Amazon ACR. Come back to the first step. Here we need to be sure to run action on the latest pushed version of the repository. Next step, configure AWS credentials. For this, we will generate AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key that will be used by this workflow. And again, region, we will use Europe Central one located in Frankfurt. You can select whatever you want from this list. Then the workflow will log into Amazon ACR. Here our workflow use a direct connection to this Amazon service with provided user credentials and permissions. Next and final step is to build, tag and push image to Amazon ACR. Pay attention here, repository name in our example is test underscore ml underscore demo. We will create the same named repository in AWS ACR also. And image tag, this is how we will tag our images. In our example, it is test underscore ml underscore image. Finally, we will run docker build and docker push command to finalize our image on Elastic Container Registry. That's it about the main.yaml. This is the main workflow instruction to build our image. Now, it's a good time to create AWS user which will interact between GitHub Action and Container Registry. Type IAM and select the first option from this list. Here, select users from the left right here. And now, click on Add Users. Specify the username to recognize your user in future. Mine is ACR underscore user. Then, select programmatic access for the user. It is very important. And click next to the permission. Now, we must provide sufficient privileges to our user to interact to AWS Elastic Container Registry, ACR. For this, we need to create a permission group. Let's name it ACR underscore group. Let's find for the permission we are concerning in this video. Amazon AC2 Container Registry Full Access. That is what we need. Make the window a little bit bigger to see the full policy name. Select this one and click on Create Group. Perfect. The group with attached policies for AWS ACR is being created. Click on Next to Tags. Then Next to Review. And finally, Create User. Good. Now it's a very important moment. We need to save our user credentials in GitHub system, which our workflow will use. Let's copy the access key ID here to our nodes. Then do the same with secret access key. Let's copy and paste it right here below. Now we have required credentials for our workflow. We need to bring it up to the GitHub. Close the user guide in AWS for now. You should see your user being created in this user list. So, come back now to GitHub part. Open settings in a new tab. Expand secrets from the menu on the left. And select actions. Now we want to add new repository secret. So, click here. In this window, we need to specify a secret name and the secret itself. Let's start with the AWS access key ID. And the secret is that one we pasted in our notes from AWS user credentials. Let's paste it here and click on add secret. Here's the first secret we will need in this list. So do the same with the second secret. Select AWS secret access key as secret name and paste the secret access key from our notes. Simple like that. Click on Add Secret and our second secret is ready to be used. We are done with the secrets. Let's come back to our workflow YAML script. This is the part where AWS access and secret keys are being used. Here on the next step, you can see the name of the repository the workflow will try to save our application image. Let's create this repo in the ACR. 
Type ACR in the search field and select Elastic Container Registry from the list. So far, we don't have any repositories, so let's create a new one. Click on Get Started. Here you can see the full repository URL address, which must be completed with the name you specify here in the end of this line. Remember, repository name comes from workflow YAML file right here. So copy and paste it to AWS ACR. Here is it, test underscore ML underscore demo. That's it. Create repository. And that's it, our repository is ready now. Here you can see the full URL to the repo and other basic information. Come in and check what is inside. And inside, so far, it's empty, no images. That's because we didn't push any image to this repo so far. Okay, let's hide our notes, we don't need it anymore. Once we completed our workflow YAML file a few minutes ago, we can commit the file right now. Saving. And now our workflow should be triggered because we made change in our main branch. Let's check for that. Go to Action tab in our GitHub repo. Here you go, it is our last commit, create main.yaml. Let's check it right here. Perfect, our workflow is running. Here on this interface you can see the steps which are running now and which are completed. 100% the same as we declared in our workflow file. I speed it up for a little. Just look, you can see many details, many information what is going on in each step. Now our image is building up. And finally, all steps completed without any errors. Brilliant. Here you can check for additional information in each step for debugging. Good stuff for learning. Ok, I want to be sure that if I make any change to my project, the workflow will be triggered again on my commit and push to GitHub. Just before, let's pull the latest version to my local by git pull in my terminal. As expected, workflow slash main.yaml is being downloaded to my computer. Fine, now let's make quick changes in application code. Here are application files and, for example, change something in the main API Python code. Open it up. And my quick change in the prediction threshold is line 52. That's enough for this example. Save it. Let's commit and push these changes to GitHub repo with standard GitHub commands from the terminal. Git status, git commit and git push at the end. Commit message is change in API and push it finally. Done. Refresh the GitHub from the browser. Go to action. And here you go. Change in API commit just triggered our workflow again. And the workflow is now running inside the GitHub. Check what is going on in this action right here. In meantime, we can check do we have any Docker images in our AWS ACR? I almost forget to check it before. Refresh the AWS in the browser. Wow, here's our image from the first workflow run. Test underscore ML underscore image. If you go inside, you can see the URI, SKA code, image size and other details. So let's wait until our new image will be finished to build. It's almost done. Finally done. Check what is going on in AWS Elastic Container Registry. Open again this repo. We have now two images. One from the first workflow run, it is untagged. And the most recent one, test underscore ml underscore image, docker image. You can look at the push date timestamp in this table. And it is the final result of this tutorial. We have created and implemented an automatic workflow based on GitHub Action, which built docker images for our application to docker container registry on AWS. Have fun with your applications. See you in the next video. Bye bye.